Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Fallout 2. This is Kanal RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today uh, as we continue looking for uh, whoever or whatever happened to Richard uh, Wright. And I've been on my own time off camera, I've been doing some research, and I've been asking around people, and I guess that I'll be able to get some news or some information or some progress at least from Keith over here. So. Uh, yeah, so... What can you tell me about your brother Richard? Good kid! Damn it, if we ever find out who done it to him... Well, any ideas who might have done it? Lara had a family cell jet, could have been any one of them. Mordino's mo got m the most jet dealers though, because they make the most jet. Me, I'm betting it was one of them. So, can you tell me a little bit about Richard? Quiet kid, clean, kept out of trouble, and uh, for a ride, that's something. We buried him on the Gol on the Golgotha plains a while ago, but even so, Mom still wants his room. Uh, it Mom still doesn't want his room disturbed. It's hard to, for her to let go, you know. Which room was his? Do you think your mother would mind if I looked in there? His room? Uh, it's a pretty empty one next to Mom's room. The second one down from the kitchen. As for your, as for looking around, well, look, don't stay long and don't mess the place up. Or Mom pop a ship and sh if she finds out. Well, thanks, Keith. I won't be long. I won't be long. So, this is his room, as I suspected. Yeah, this was Charlie Richard's old room. So, is there something here that I have to do? Yeah, I checked the bookcases before, but... I got... Oh! Hey, I found an empty jet canister beneath the dresser. Oh, a clue? Uh, and this empty jet canister was found in Richard Wright's room. It still has traces of jet inside. Okay, who should I... F who should I talk to about this? These guys are really... These... Are, yeah, these guys are on a staring contest right there. Myron and that little kid. Oh, man, the kids don't want to go out. And Myron's not gonna... It's like... Myron's like, no! I didn't get to go out for... I don't know why, however many months I got... I was locked in down there, but... I didn't get to go down, going out for so many months. You're not gonna get to go out today. Nope. Byron is really pissed at the kids. So, um, uh, by the way, I could, yeah, maybe, maybe I should check out the uh, Byron. Stop that. See, and the kids as well. Stop that. Let me out. Myron, man, these guys, these little guys. Okay. So, who should I? Uh, maybe, uh, I guess the Rocket Man is gonna be the best dealer in town, I guess. Because, uh, I mean, he's a bitch, but uh, apart from that, I guess that is trustworthy in, to some extent. To some extent. And, um, so let's see, let's let's pay him a visit. Oh, Renesco was his name? Yeah, Renesco. Renesco was his name. I don't know where that song is going. But I think there's a song like that starts like that. Not with Renesco, though. Renesco is a weird name, I haven't... I don't know anybody with that name. Maybe it's Italian or something? It probably is. I don't know. It sounds like an Italian name. Um, and, uh, yeah. So... Doesn't... Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's getting all pissed again. No, can you tell me anything about this empty jet canister? It's empty. It's a jet canister like the hundred of others all over New Reno. Anything else I can help you with? Does this belong to you? No. Anything else I can help you with? No. Goodbye. Okay, so he is not the one. I get. I guess that uh, it would be either... Nah, I don't think it, it, it'd be... What's his name? The guy down in Virgin Street? It's probably Jimmy J. Jack Jimmy J. Because he's always going on about how pure his jet is, and uh, I don't buy it. I, I don't buy it. I just don't buy it. So... Uh, so you said, so where, can, well, can I, uh, so, oh yeah, know anything about this empty jet canister? Wagon experience, what's that? Takes canister, studies it. Nah, I, <laughs> Ugh, shit, this jet's got some red scorp juice in it. Whatever, whoever was sucking on this ain't long for this world. Ugh. is it poisoned? Oh, hell yeah. Gotta be careful in this town with shit like that being passed around. That's why Jimmy always says, yeah, whatever. 
So where? <laughs> uh, any idea where this might have come from? Nah, I don't. Look, no. Don't be spreading the word that's mine. I, if I were you, I'd ask Jules and Renesco about it. But you didn't hear that from me, right? Okay. Well, I'll I'll hit them up and see if they have uh, any information for me. I don't know why I gained experience by by contact by uh, asking asking uh, Jack Jimmy J about that that canister, and I didn't gain experience when I asked Renesco. So why was that? Huh? Jules, come over here. So, you know anything about this empty jet canister? Hmm, <laughs> like a hundred others I've seen. In that mind, though, could be Jack Jimmy's or, or Nesco's. Jack Jimmy's? It's this dumb son of a bitch on 2nd Street north of here. You can't miss him. His face is all scarred up. The fool was flying on jet one night and tried to shave his, ca his with a combat knife. Sad part is, it didn't kill him. So, that's bad. Um... I gained the experience with them, so... Okay, so... Oh, I get it! I get it! Okay, so the game is... What the game is telling me, what not what the game, what the NPCs are telling me, uh, what both Jack, Jimmy, J, and... Uh, what's his name? Jules. And Jules are telling me uh, that uh, it's either one of the others, or it, uh, it is Renesco's, but of course Renesco didn't tell me it was Jack, Jimmy, J's, or, or, or Jules. Uh, for for uh, that matter, so I get the feeling that maybe, maybe, he's the one who's hiding, and maybe he, despite him being the one who I was most eager to trust, maybe he is the one who poisoned that canister. So, uh, 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 yeah, know anything about the red scorpion venom traces that are in the in this canister? Red scorpion. Huh. You son of a bitch, you poisoned the kid, didn't you? What? Now, wait just a minute. Don't mess with me, Renesco. You try and weasel out of this one and you'll be joining Richard, understand? Wait a minute, look, I didn't I, I didn't sell it to the kid, it never bought anything from me. I was asked to make some jet laced with red scorpion venom, but but I didn't sell it to the kid. You were asked to make poison jet for who? For whom? For whom? Uh, the Salvatore's requested it. They said it was a special order. I didn't have the. I didn't know they were going to give it to the kid, to the right kid. You have to believe me. I I didn't poison the kids. I don't poison kids. No, just adults, huh, Renesco? You sorry son of a bitch. The Salvatore's own me. They own this place. And when they want something, I give it to them. And they'll or they'll kill me and have me replaced. I never meant any harm to that boy. Yeah. Uh. That's okay. That's um. That's believable. But the problem is, is not. All right, all right. I believe you. I had some other questions. So yeah, I have exposed Renesco's involvement in rights in uh, Richard Wright's death. Death. But um, by the way, I've I have booze on me, so might as well go and check out uh, this priest because he might be up. Yeah, he is up and about. Good, good. good. Hello, greetings, my son. What's Father Tully can do for you, son? It's fine, fine, Rio Reno. You said my son? I'm a girl. What the hell are you drunk again? So, I brought some hooch, Father. Can you talk for a moment? Huh? Well, no, most certainly. Give me that. I don't usually touch the stuff, you know? Look, 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 look. Ah, I'm sorry. What was I saying? Well, tell me about the... What were you... Talking about Richard Wright's death? Oh, that poor boy. Jack took him from his family and ate that damn old stuff. Worst kind of... Worst mind poison ever made. Jet? Devil's blood. Weakness. Foul secretion for the very teeth of the devil. Oh, so you didn't... You don't like Jet then? That drug will do the death of us. Can't think of another drug. <coughs> <coughs> That does more damage than jet. Kills the mind and the body. Damn Mordinos. What was that about Mordinos? Mordinos? Well, there, there's two of them. And what? Wait, wait, big. Okay, so b big Jesus and little Jesus. The father and son. They control the dragons in the whole man in Reno. 
so what about Big Jesus? He's dead, you know, but whatever. Jesus? Ah, he's the one bad mother. Ah, deals in slaves, jacked, ours. Only person where's the name is the fills the fills his fun. So Jesus Mordino Senior controls most of the drugs and whores in New Reno. He's dead, by the way. Oh, uh, yes. Worse. <laughs> uh, what about drugs? Huh? Drugs? Oh yes, the drugs. Jet, filthy jet, do horrible things in it. Hor horrible. Eh? Running the stables. Uh, uh, all for gold. For gold. What about the stables? Mordinos have a farm outside home. They keep slaves there. Test chat on them. So kills them in droves and all sorts of stuff. Only the Mordinos know where the stables are. Yeah, I know where the stables are. Yes, yes, yeah, whatever. Thanks, Father. Have fun with your drinking. Uh, yeah, Father Tully is is a cool guy. Is I, I enjoy making his drunken voice. Uh, I'm not sure if you enjoy listening to it, but I don't want to pester you guys that don't enjoy it because he doesn't really have anything else uh, new to say. So, yeah. Uh, let's leave him to his drinking. Uh, and uh, because whatever. It was going. It's funny that it was going on about Jet being bad for the mind and the body, but he keeps drinking. That's kind of ironic, I guess. Um, not sarcastic though, because we wasn't being sarcastic. It was just being dim-witted, as a drunkard would be. So where's my next stop? I guess telling. Uh, what was his name? The father of the family. Tell him about how Renesco sold him poisoned. It was poison, but it was flying on jet. That's for sure. It was the uh, Salvatore's? What? what ex I forget. Anyway, Faye knows what's going on. Faye knows. So let's quick save, just uh, in case I screw things up. And you again? You find who killed my boy? Yeah. Little Jesus Mordino. He deals jet. Nah. Your son, your son didn't die of an overdose. He was poisoned. What? Poisoned? What in hell's name are you talking about? Yeah, I found this jet canister that Richard used and, uh, well, was used on Richard. There were traces of red scorpion venom in uh, the cartridge. Assuming I believe this for a second, and I ain't saying that I am, then who poisoned my son? Why did they go to the trouble of dosing him with the jet? Well, word is it was Salvatoris. They pumped him with jet laced with red scorpion venom, then left him for you to find. Now, why in the hell would they do that? The uh, way I see it, the Mordinos controlled the jet in Reno. Naturally, you'd blame them for a drug overdose, and uh, then there'd be war. If you two don't wipe each other out, you'd at least ha be weakened by the fight. That makes life easier for the Salvatoris. All they have to worry about, then, is the bishops. Huh. <laughs> you give me an answer, you, and I can do nothing about it. The Salvatore is God damn it! <sighs> what do you mean you can do anything about it? You know that those Salvatore bastards are armed with friend. Those damn damn light bringers. One Salvatore packing that kind of hit can kill my whole family without bat batting an eye. To beat that, I'd I'd need. Well, don't worry about it. I've kicked the shins out of from underneath the Salvatore's already. Ha! The ones in Reno, maybe. But you got a lot to learn about the families. There's still Salvatore's kicking around beyond Reno. And if the, even if there's just... Even if, if, even if there's just one left, that's trouble. To beat them, I'd need... What exactly? Well, now, before I get into specifics, let's settle accounts first. Here's a little cash for your troubles. Because I'm an honest guy, plus some ammo, liquor for my, from my private stock, and another job for you if you're interested. Well, I'm interested. Now, it, it, is, it so happens not too long ago, I came across a map that shows an old army base in the mountains not far from here. You find a way in there, and uh, I'll see that you're, you're taken care of. So, alright, I'll, I'll check it out then. Hmm, alright then. Come back when you found a way in, and, you'll see, and I'll see if you're well rewarded. Now, as for the location of the base, head north, then yeah, he gives me the coordinates. Okay, all right, I'll check it out. When I find your way inside, I'll be back. Yeah, I knew about that, that, um, I knew about that, uh, army base before. I don't remember where from. I think it was... 
I don't remember where from. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter because that's where I'm heading right now. And I need to find my car. But unfortunately, I need to go all the way through 2nd Street, through Virgin Street, down into the parking lot where Jules is hanging at. And, um... Nah, that's not the way. That is not the way. This is the way. There it is. Okay. And, uh... Yeah. And go to the, to the, uh, the army base. I don't remember the, the army base from before... I know there's an army base later on the game, but this one, I don't think... Is it from the Restoration Project? Nah, probably isn't. Probably isn't, uh, because... I don't know. Anyway, let's check it out. Where's the car? Where's my goddamn car? Seriously? Is it... Did they stole it? Did they steal it again? Because sometimes this happens. This is a thing that happened before, but I don't know. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, let's go to here. So, chop chop, it's over here, isn't it? Isn't it? I think it is. I think it probably is, hopefully. It isn't! God damn it, how the hell? Where is my car? Did it disappear? Huh? It should be here. It isn't here, though. Oh, wait. Is it? No. Jules, tell me where my car is. So, you don't know anything about it. Yeah, losing the car is a very, very bad, bad thing to do. But I think that I went straight to... I went straight to the east, the east side. There it is. Yeah. There it is. So yeah, I went straight to the east side and the car didn't get parked in the correct spot. So that's a bad thing that happened right there. But let's go to the Sierra Army Depot. And yeah, Depot. Depot? Depot? I don't know. I say Depot. I guess Depot is the correct pronunciation. But yeah, this... I remember this. I remember this. I just wasn't remembering. So there we have the Raiders from the uh, Bishop family, I think. Nah, one of them. Anyway, it's Raiders that are harassing... Vault City will deal with them. That's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But for now, we're gonna get into an area that, in my opinion, is one of the most fun areas in Fallout 2. I really enjoy these old army places. Uh, I really enjoyed the glow in Fallout 1. I, I really very much enjoyed it. And um, this, as you can see, is a very dangerous place. <laughs> it is a very... Oh, I remember what was in the stables. Was it a sniper rifle? I think it was, but I missed it. I so I am sorry. I am sorry. I think I yeah. But there's gonna be a sniper rifle would come in handy over here, but I don't have it. Uh so there's plenty of dead bodies around, but there's also these little robots. And they are enabled. I think they are enabled. No, they are not. At least they don't appear to be. Let me save. And uh Uh okay, so let's take a chance and loot this place and see if anything pops up probably not though probably not yeah they're probably okay so I am taking damage 20 hit points of damage so that's bad news so let's go with uh, the CPU and it's momentarily out of control that's perfect that is perfect and I missed that one okay What's going on? Okay, I'm taking damage. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm gonna have to get out of here. I'm not gonna get out of here. I'm taking another... Uh, yeah, another Super Steam Pack. I'm running out of them, though. I'm gonna have to start healing myself with proper Steam Packs. This is a bad thing to do. A very bad thing to do, because they have uh, energy weapons. That's an energy gun right there, if I, if I think correctly. Nope, that's gonna be bad. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna reload this thing. I am unless I can kill this thing, I am gonna reload. Because Oh, there it is. Okay, good. So Lenny took how much damage? Five hit points? That's fine. So what I'll do no by the way, I'll get out of the way. I'll eh, eh, there it is. So I gained some experience, not a lot though. Not a lot. There's another turret over there that I'm not gonna mess with right now. And uh, I'm gonna heal myself, but not in the usual sense, I don't think. I'm gonna re rest until healed. 
Oh, I can't rest at this location. Okay. If that's how it is. If that is how it is. I'm going to try and apply some uh, first aid skills to myself then. Hopefully, kill four hit points. What happened? You should be glad I'm with you. Uh, yeah. So that's Myron doing his dialogue lines. I failed to do any healing. I'm taking damage because of the uh, steam pack. The super steam pack that I took. That's fine. These guys are really going at each other. Man. Okay, that's four hit points plus. That's cool. Five hit points. And I think that there is that. Okay. Let's take some steam packs, because I have a few more than I had before. And I think that is going to be that. Let me see how many hit points I have. 90? Okay, good. So let's save. Let's loot this thing, because I'm going to try and... Oh, I can't loot it? Okay. We're going to try and get into this place without angering any more turrets. There's another one over there, though. That is bad. Uh, let's see. Let's check out the surrounding area, though, before I get in there. Okay, there's a, like, a toll booth or something? Nah. Okay, there's a place over there that I want to check out. What I really want is my companions not to die. That's what I really want. There's stuff on the ground, though. There's plenty of stuff on the ground. What's that? Grenade? I will take that. And there is another grenade in there. There's a Desert Eagle right there that I will take because of the ammo. And also because of the Desert Eagle, because that's always fine. What's that? Another Desert Eagle? Is that a Desert Eagle? It is not. I don't like this. Nope. What's that? 10 millimeter, maybe? It is a 10 millimeter. That's some ammo. 10 millimeter ammo. That's AP, though. Uh, what's that? Assault rifle. I have one of those, and I'm not gonna... Oh, actually, I don't have one of those. I do, but I don't have the ammo, so I'll take it. I'll take that, because the ammo is expensive. So let's see, what's the best strategy to deal with this turret? 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 I don't know. Should we attack first? I don't think we should. Yeah, because it's gonna attack first. 58 hit points! Well, that's my death then. That is my death. I'm not even gonna go for the reload. I'm gonna just hope that I'm able to kill it before it kills me. That's all I'm gonna do. Go for the sensors and... Okay, sensor hit. Maybe it's blind. I doubt it, though. I really doubt it's blind. There you go, Lenny. A for effort. A for effort. Actually, E for effort. More like. And there we go. Good. So it paid off. It paid off. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, let's heal. And uh, where the hell are my steam packs? Always at the bottom of the loot table. Not the loot table, the inventory table. 19 hit points, 12. 10, that's below average right there. 12, yeah. I'm not very lucky with those. Not very lucky at all. So we got a, f a hole in the fence right there. I see a raised plate. Let's try and not set off any explosives. Try and disarm the trap. That is not gonna go well, I don't think. Oh, if Vic were here. If Oh, Vic... Vic isn't really skilled with traps. No, I don't think he is. I don't think he was. Yeah. Vic, you will be missed. You are missed. And there it goes. An explosion. I got hit for three hit points. That's perfectly fine. As long as my companions don't get closer. Uh, let me see. Can I go in? Come on, Lanny. St step away. Step away from here. I took damage. I set off a trap. Okay, that's fine. As long as it's not electrocuted. It appears to be locked. I do have lockpicks with me. Do I have an electronic lockpick, though? Okay, there's a trap right there. Got some explosives. That might work. And uh, we got... what? I don't have anything, though. It's probably in the car. Let's try and, and pick it. Let's try and pick it. Probably not gonna have. Oh, I definitely, I definitely picked the lock on the door. So it's an elevator, is it? It's not. Okay, my guys are gonna die. Yep, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. So it's an armory. Oh, ammo crate. That is fantastic. Oh yeah, that is fantastic. I'm gonna give this. Oh, 
I like that. I'm gonna give this to Cassidy. This is locked. Let's look for traps. I failed to find any traps. That doesn't mean there's no traps. I don't think that... No, there was a trap. There was a trap. Okay. It's still locked. Okay, whatever. Some grenades. That's fine. Let's give... Uh, first, let's heal. And I'm gonna save my super stim pack. If I still have it. Because I don't think I do. I didn't see it anyway. But I'm gonna save it for a combat... Uh, situation. I am gonna um, go over here and check out his inventory. He's, he's doing pretty well. I'm gonna give him that and gonna tell him yeah. to equip his best weapon. And he's gonna decide that it's a combat shotgun and I'm fine with that. I am totally fine with that. Let me quick save before I kill myself for sure. And there's a good job guys. Very good job right there. Stupid assholes. Uh, oh, I got a bazooka. What's that? Hot. Oh, yeah. How hot. How white. Oh, 75 millimeter shell. <laughs> the casing has mostly corroded away, but it can make out these letters. AXP 92598. Huh. Well, I don't have room in my inventory to carry it. So I'm gonna leave this behind. No, that's too heavy. That is too heavy. Okay, there you go. So I know how to use that because I played this game before, but you don't. Or maybe you do. Maybe you do. I'm just I, I keep assuming that you don't know Fallout, but maybe you do. Uh, it's fun to to watch LPs from games we've played before. Is that guy dead? Yeah, it is. Good. So the hot can be used in a cannon that's lying somewhere around here. It's one of these, but I don't think it's. Though, any of those in particular. Uh, and, uh... Yep. Might as well just trigger the trap, because... I don't really have any skills with that. And I didn't spot it, that's the real problem. There's too many rays... Oh, okay. Okay. Is that all? It is all. Okay, good. Okay, let's heal ourselves. Man, I need steam packs like... I don't know. I dearly need steam packs. And things are not gonna get better. No, sir, they are not. There's still more? More? What the hell is going on in this place? Okay, this is the one. See? This is the one. Although it looks a bit dilapidated, you think it might still fire. If only you could find a shell. Well, I have a shell. There you go. Load it in, and I'm not gonna trigger it, or, or fire it, that's the correct verb, because I am gonna wait for next episode, but not before I get my stuff back. Not before I get my stuff back, yep. Well, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Fallout 2. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, feel free to leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye!